How's it going, everyone? This is Charizard James with another deck guide for you. Uh, Rumty has hit number one Mythic with this mono green deck, card for card, shown right here for you. I'm going to go through all the cards. We're going to play some games. Let's get to it. We had, And if you don't know who Rumty is, <clears throat> you can look him up on, on Twitch. He's a Twitch streamer. Very, very, very good player. Um, made number one Mythic with this on the Mythic Ladder yesterday. So I'm here to play it today for you folks. <clears throat> we have four Gilded Goose right here. Which is, if anyone knows about me in my Twitch channel, www.twitch.tv slash Charizard underscore James. If you haven't seen me on Twitch, check me out live. <clears throat> We're called the Goose Gang here. And the Goose Gang is built off of this card right here, Gilded Goose. Nice, you get some nice mana acceleration here. We have Witch's Oven. Not only does this make food for us, but it dodges removal. It dodges Elspeth Conqueror's death, which is a notable one for our Feasting Troll King and our Wicked Wolf. We have four Primal Mites. as some additional removal, and plus it's some nice kill power with Feasting Troll King. Tangled Florahedron here. Is a nice mana acceleration, and it's also a land if you don't if you miss your land drop. Trail of Crumbs, which is our main food food engine here, let us draw some additional cards. Love Struck Beast and Kazandu Mammoth are pivotal in this deck in order to be able to cast the Great Henge on turn four. Uh, Kazandu Mammoth also is additional land drops as well if you need them. <clears throat> Wicked Wolf goes with our food mechanic. It's a very, very powerful mid-range threat. Anti-aggro threat. Against control, it's indestructible. All around really good card, especially with food. Coggle the Titan 8 is a nice fight mechanic as well. Um, but also, whenever it attacks, it destroys an artifact or enchantment an opponent controls, which is very important. In the mirror match, it can kill their Witch's Oven. It can kill their Trail of Crumbs. Against Doom Foretold decks, it can kill their Doom Foretolds. It can kill... They can kill their their uh, glass caskets or whatever they might have. Very, very powerful card, especially when it gets to attack. We also have a Feasting Troll King at four copies, especially good against rogues. When they mill over the Feasting Troll King, all you need to do is have three foods and you can bring it right back out of the graveyard. And they can't counter it because it is not counting as casting it. It's an activated ability, so it's very, very difficult for rogues to interact with. And it has Vigilance and Trample. We also have the Great Henge that I noted on before. Very, very, very good in the late game against almost every deck. You can get it out on turn four. Get that card advantage going. Now for our lands, we have four Castle Garen Briggs, 14 Forests, and three Crawling Barons, which is a very interesting card that Rumty has has put in this deck as a nice alternate win condition against control and it's just a very powerful card in general then we have a bonders enclave to be able to draw additional cards we have for our sideboard two tormod's crypts against those rogue decks another oven maybe against those decks that can uh, remove our cards with skyclave apparition and things like that we have two ram throughs for additional removal against other aggressive decks we have two Scavenging Oozes for that Exile removal. Thrashing Brontodon for more Artifact and Enchantment Hate. Um, it kills Ember Cleaves in combat, which is very important, and opposing Great Henges. Three Questing Beasts against those control decks, especially blue-black control that has been uh, going around recently. Uh, the blue-black Yorian decks. And then we have Vivian Monsters Advocate against other control decks and other... Uh, other decks that like to gum up the board with a, with um, with a lot of creatures. Vivian King very get very out of hand that way. Plus, Vivian's very good at creating a lot of reach creatures. So, with that, let's go ahead and get into some games. Go to our standard ranked Rum Tees Mono Green. Let's get to it. Last Man 31.
What do we have today? Oh, you love to see Gilded Goose in the Trail of Crumbs. <clears throat> Let's get this Gilded Goose in here. You love to see it. Have I seen Rumty's Hengelus Stompy list? I did see his Hengelus Stompy list. You like it just as much as the Mono Green Food list. We might try that one later on tonight after this. Not sure though, I do like the Great Henge. <coughs> Luminarch Aspirant. Okay, this might be a little bit of a problem. We might need to use our Primal Might sooner than we want. We could even kill this Luminarch Aspirant right now. Is killing Lum Luminarch Aspirant right now what we want to be doing? It's very tempting. I think I'm going to do it. We're winning the long game, so let's not lose the short game. Goose power, go. I bet they weren't expecting that. Oh, another Luminarch Aspirin, but they missed a land drop. So, let's see if we can get our engine on lock here. I already hit my land drop, so I'm going to wait till end of turn to use this Gilded Goose to get a Trail of Crumbs. Another, the third Luminarch Aspirant. Uh, okay, they're, uh, putting me on my heels here. Kind of glad I killed that first one. We'll take it for now. Let's draw a Wicked Wolf. I'll take a Feasting Troll King. We can actually cast this. Happy I killed the first one, you know why? Why is that S6? So let's hope they don't do anything crazy here. Okay, Lost Drop Beast's not very crazy. Lost Drop Beast is not very crazy, chat. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go for another rummage through the, through the crumbs here. Love Struck Beast, or do we want a Forest? I think I'll take a Love Struck Beast because we can use, we can cast it off the Henge. Nice. <coughs> so let's get our one one here. <coughs> and then let's get our. Let's get our 6-6 six, six going here. Uh, I think I think we've just uh, we've just won the game now. So that means your name is now correctly spelled on the video. Is it as six? All right. So what are we doing here? I think, I think I'll, uh, I think just in case we, uh, I'll just do this for now. Let's draw another card. I kind of want to draw a Wicked Wolf. There we go. I didn't really need it for this turn, but, uh, pretty valuable for an, an up upcoming turn. If we attack with Feasting Troll King, they could double block with both Luminarch Aspirants, but I think we're okay with that. This deck seems so powerful, 
Like, there's a reason why Rumpty got number one Mythic with this. For sure. Alright, go to damage. Go to 13. I could technically cast my Trail of Crumbs, but I think I'll wait on that. I don't really know what they're, they're going to be playing. They're like playing a... They're playing like a... Um, Selesnya Counters deck? Yasharn. Oh, I can't sacrifice my food. Well, that's fair. That's definitely annoying. What, what, do, I, what do I want now? I guess I'll take a Crawling Barons. So is this, is this just like food tech? I guess I should have... I, I can't sacrifice my food for the Yasharn. Oh, you beat this deck th this deck today with Mono Red Ugin? Yeah, Ugin will just takes a, a hike on this deck. Oh, I thought that's like a perfect draw. That was a perfect draw. So this is 9 here. I don't want them to block me, but I want them to, like, have to block me. So what if I go... X equals 7. If I go X is 7, this is 13, so I can, I can go, like, X is 5. X is 5 would put me at 11. No, I, I think I have to go X is 7, right? Because it shows a 13. This is 4, which puts me at 9. And this is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I can go X is 9, technically. Actually, I can't. I can go X is 7. Yeah, your shard is a great response to food dominating the meta. Yeah, there's a uh, there's some food decks for sure. So I think they have to block like somehow here. I'm not sure. I think they die. Do <coughs> they don't die if I? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one one back. They definitely don't die. Thank you for the follow, MLG Gibbons, or ML Gibbons, I should say. Welcome to the Goose Gang. Good salute to you. Alright, so I should be... Unless they have, like, another Yasharn, I should be fine. So they're dead with one damage. And I don't have... Oh, I do have the damage. I have the Crawling Barons. Nice. Food takes game one. So since they have Elspeth Conqueror's death, I do want this Witch's Oven. I think I want this ram through too. Maybe I want these brontodons. They have Elspeth Conqueror's death. Do we? I think. I, <coughs> hmm. They have Yasharn too. So I, actually, I can't use this if they have Yasharn, right? Because I can't sacrifice it. It says I can't sacrifice non-land permanents. So I guess Vivian's good. So what should I take out? I actually don't know what to cut. We just cut around the edges? I have no clue what to cut. Maybe Vivian's not good enough? Cut 
cut oven entirely? They have they have ECDs and stuff. What do you bring in the oven for then? What are we what are we bringing in the the third oven for then? If we're cutting ovens in this matchup. Lee shave oven I thought I thought that Rumty would put the oven in the sideboard the extra oven for this matchup <coughs> for matchups with ECD I'll keep this love struck beast hand love struck mammoth promomite troll king what could go wrong what could go wrong Mold of six. Bronze hide lion. Interesting. I'll get this down and then I'll play the love struck beast in the following turn. I, ju I just started playing you, Belster. Just started. So we're not going to show him our Castle Garenbrig yet. <clears throat> just get down the Love Struck Beast, I think, so we can Primal Might some stuff next turn. Thank you, you Belster. Appreciate you stopping by. All right, maybe they have their own Great Henge here. Oh, Giant Killer. Interesting. Oh, I didn't know there were adventures. Guess I'll block this. Pretty good, pretty good, uh, pretty good start here for opponent. I could do this and then play this. And then I could, like, kill their innkeeper? Probably should. So now let's hope they don't have a land. And if they do have a land, I'm probably just going to block the bronze hide. Alright, so we should be in a good position here now. Oh, never mind. See if they can get. Let's see if they have their own problem, Mike. Oh, they drew a second innkeeper. <clears throat> we could be in trouble with this giant killer. Like, I want to kill the innkeeper, but I also need to kill the giant killer. <coughs> hey, Matt Shatters, how's it going? I kind of have to kill the giant killer, right? I think I have to kill the giant killer.
I did this for zero because I want them to trade with the love truck. Alright, I guess not. Alright, Bonner's Enclave, you'll love to see it. <coughs> yeah, I, I did really want that trade. But I don't think we're in a bad position. But I also don't think we're in a great position. We're in like a very medium position. Alright, our position just got better. We could just attack with the Troll King first and see what happens. I think I just like attacking with this. Yeah, they know not to kill it. Like, it's just it's just seven free damage a turn. Like they have so many blockers, but they're just not gonna kill it. <clears throat> okay. That seemed pretty free, chat. Oh no! Oh no! This is why I wanted my witch's ovens, chat. Okay, now it's not free. Now it's very far from free. So, wait, are they dead? I have six damage, or seven damage, actually. So I just have to make sure I'm not dead. I'm not dead, right? So if I block this, five, six, seven, plus 13? I'm at one. Maybe they miscount? Maybe they miscount. Alright. I will take that. We take those. Victorious. And you see on that screen, YouTube, I'm not 11-6. I took that off on the left-hand side. That was my first match with this deck. There's no way I can be 11-6 and, and not play a match with this. <laughs> That's funny. You, too, can do this at home. Let's play another match. We are playing Rumty's card for card list right now. But I'm welcome to redeem to pick the card in a, in a second. We can put Time Walk in. You're not wrong. Yeah, let's play Time Walk in this deck. We are playing against Zabricus. Notable, notable player and streamer here. Let's see. We are playing the mirror match. We are playing the mirror match. Let's go ahead and get our Gilded Goose started here, and then we'll go Mammoth as a tap land, and then play 
play our uh, Heart's Desire. Ooh. Well, never mind. I would love to play my Trail of Crumbs now. Because <coughs> then maybe I can get an untapped land here. Okay, so my goal is to get a land so that I could eat this mammoth. All right. Well, I guess the Primal Might means that I don't have to do that. Like, I really don't want them to cast their, their Great Henge. And if I use the Wicked Wolf, then it will die. But I don't want to use my Wicked Wolf. I should probably just Primal Might that Mammoth. <coughs> what happens if I Primal Might the Mammoth? This is the second time in three games that I've done this with a Gilded Goose. Feels weird, man. Definitely feels weird. Oh, no. Not their Wicked Wolf. Well, now I can kill their Wicked Wolf because I have food and they don't. We need this as a land. I'm pretty sure we just have to play our... Play our Mammoth, I guess. The other option is to play a Lovestruck Beast token and play Witch's Oven. That will actually allow us to Wicked Wolf their Wicked Wolf if they don't have a food. I think that's a superior play, chat. <clears throat> but if they have a food, then we could be in a lot of trouble. Alright, please don't have a food. Please don't have a food. Alright, so we're going to block this on purpose because we're sacrificing it. Alright, so hopefully they don't have a main deck Primal Might. Or, uh, main deck Ram Through here. Hopefully they don't have main deck Ram Through here. That would hurt my feelings. We're going to play this untapped land so we can draw a card off this Trail of Crumbs. you love to see the Great Hens, chat. Alright, so hopefully they don't have a Henge of their own. Well that, well, that didn't work out for us. As soon as I say, hopefully they don't have a henge. They go nuts, chat. Alright, now we have to Kogla really soon. <clears throat> well, unfortunate that we can't do any of that. But I guess we should get this down. I mean, I can't do anything else, though. Does this mean I should probably just play my Love Shuck Beast? Probably. This makes me two foods as well. Oh, Primal Might. 
This is actually fine for us. I'm actually almost dead. So I'm going to decline the trail of crumbs because I might need to eat food. I am playing. I'm, I am playing Zab Staffer. Hi to you as well. They might have needed to do the Primal Might for more, for more than what they did. <coughs> Alright, let's, let's use this last food for a Wicked Wolf, I think. I think I want a Gilded Goose, but I also kind of want a Love Struck Beast. I kind of want a Goose, though. I like having Goose when they don't have a Goose. I'm going to play my Kogla, I think. So if I go Great Henge here, then I can cast Kogla. And I like that. This way I can fight their mammoth. Then they just sacrifice it for food, but it's okay. We're not going to attack here because, uh, <clears throat> I don't want to die. We don't like dying here. We don't like dying here in this position. Let's hope they don't have another problem. Might. <coughs> <coughs> Get some more drink here. It might look like a Primal Might here. It's looking like a Primal Might, chat. Alright, it is. Looks like we have to block. Looks like we have to block with the Kogla. This is 14. Unfortunately, I do have to sacrifice it. I wanted the Kogla to be able to kill the Great Henge. But they've forced me into a position that I don't want to be in. <coughs> but I think I like my position. Ooh. I like this. I like this Wicked Wolf against this Mammoth. Now I think I need to kill them before before they get going again. Cuz if they draw a creature into creature into creature, I could be a, I could be in a, a precarious position. 
But we both have the same board, basically. But I have a trail of crumbs, and they don't, basically. Alright. Now, what card could that be? A land? It's probably a land, right? Probably a land. This Crawling Barons is going to be real annoying, too. So I might need my Crawling Barons to be just as big as hers. Rumty's list is feeling pretty good. <coughs> I actually think I'm just going to... I actually think I'm just going to buff up this Crawling Barons a couple times. Because the key to this game is going to be whoever has the biggest Crawling Barons. This Crawling Barons is going to get bigger than the Troll King. She did not animate it. Alright, so now I'm going to go Gilded Goose into Lovestruck Beast. <coughs> because these Crawling Barons is going to get real, is going to get a lot bigger than the Troll King eventually. Second one. Alright, the uh the writing was on the wall chat. <coughs> I wonder if the oven's for the mirror. I kinda want this for the mirror. Brontodon's probably for the mirror. Is ooze for the mirror? How's it going, MTG Paragon? Oh, wow. You're not iParagon anymore. I notice it's the same person. I never know what to cut from this deck. Like, I, I want so many cards. Excuse an oven for the mirror? What about ram through? There's actually thir there's actually 30 lands in the stack. So if I cut these it's 26. Cut a mammoth? I think I just like cut around the edges. I don't know. I would need to ask Rumty about this sideboarding plan because it doesn't seem like I... It doesn't seem like I can side many cards in. This is risky, especially on the draw. But I like having removal spells on the draw anyway. All 
All right, Lynn was a very good draw there. All right, no crumbs, please. Ooh, turn two mammoth. Interesting. I could kill their goose. It's probably not good, though. I'll just make another food with the goose. I don't have anything really to do here. Lands do help to cast spells. <coughs> Alright, so that's what they needed was a land, right? We take five. And the oven. Okay, we're in a really bad position. <coughs> we're in a pretty bad position. So next turn... Next turn we can cast Kogla. So this turn I think I want to go Primal Might Ram through. But I can't do both. So we have to just Primal Might the Kazandu Mammoth. This Gilded Goose is Primal Mighting everything in its path. This is the third time that the Gilded Goose has sought victory upon its opponents. The Goose Gang don't play, that's for sure. The Goose Gang don't play. Hopefully I counted right. Okay, I counted right. <laughs> Castle Garenbrig is a good card, chat. I've heard. So, uh, she's missing land drops, which is unfortunate. But we get to kill their Trail of Crumbs or their Witch's Oven next turn. Well, they got a land drop there, so they're, they're fine. Double Trail of Crumbs, alright. Double Goose. <coughs> you put the most thinking and the least thinking at the same time? I know, right? This is this is kind of great, right? So we can play we can also play our troll king. I don't know if I should kill the oven or kill the trail trail of crumbs. It the great hinge is definitely great. Do we kill the oven or kill the crumbs? I guess we just kill the crumbs. <clears throat> like, we don't have our trail of crumbs yet, so that can get very out of hand. Alright, 7 damage, or not, if they block with the goose. We could make them lose both their geese. 
Did we ram through this other goose? Do we ram through this other goose chat? <coughs> that would be something. They have a uh, five mana. I kind of wanted to play this feasting, feasting troll king though. But I can make another food with my goose here too. So at least I have something to do with my mana. Well, okay. That's a yikes. It's a yikes for sure. At least I have a henge and they don't. I sure hope so, Jaffer. Alright, let's hope they don't have something crazy here. Oh, that's something crazy. They have a land that can also play the Henge. Gonna try to grow the crawling, crawling barons out of range of this troll king, I guess. Mine's bigger than theirs, but they can still trade. Well, this is unfortunate, drawing uh, three straight lands with a great henge in play. Uh, trading's also good for them, because they get a bunch of draws off the Trail of Crumbs. Wow. So they definitely get a lot more draws than I do here. Oh, they have a Vivian. That's not good for me. Right, Meta Marty? Oh, and they have a Wicked Wolf. not just pretty good Jen and I it's a great your great hinge is a great card <coughs> all right what do I need here I should probably just keep growing this oh wow ram through is a great draw holy moly holy moly's cannolis Guacamole's. <clears throat> so. We can kill the Vivian. Right?
I won't have enough mana to animate the Crawling Barons. <coughs> since the Crawling Barons taps. <coughs> so we're going to go to Blockers first. And now we ram through... Doing this here. And then if they sack it, they still lose to Vivian. <clears throat> but the weird part is, is that their Wicked Wolf can kill our Feasting Troll King. And their Wicked Wolf can block our Crawling Barons forever. Yeah, exactly, Jen and I. They draw a whole bunch of cards while they're doing this. This is a crazy game. I'm actually going to do this to save time on my clock, because my clock's running down faster than theirs. Whoa, what just happened? What just happened? They're not going to kill my Troll King? What? Did they mess up? What? Oh. Okay. <coughs> okay, that makes sense then. Oh, and a goose. I need a way to make another food. Lots of way to make another food. Alright, so that's probably our best draw on the deck since it procs our Great Henge. And gives us gives us a food. And we got the Enclave. This is Enclave leaveable. I wish I had a trail of crumbs right now, but you can't have everything you want. Well, I mean, that's kind of something I wanted. a Kazandu Mammoth. <coughs> so do I get rid of their Henge or do I get rid of their Trail of Crumbs? They're both scary. I guess I should just animate this and see what happens. Actually, I can't use the Brontodon if I do this. So do I... <clears throat> do I kill the Crumbs or do I kill the Henge? I should probably kill the Crumb. Or maybe I should kill the... The, the Witch's Oven's uh, a thing too. Like, the oven gives them a lot of food.
there. Both of our hinges are gone. Okay. <coughs> Let's see if our crawling barons can crawl ourselves to victory here. Got a trail of crumbs. <clears throat> How's it going, Pure Ambrosia? Yeah. All right, so this is a twelve twelve. They can't block this. Unless there's something I don't know about. Well, they can block it, yes. Whether they want, whether they want to block it's a different story. These matches take so long. <clears throat> you grab a drink for a split second. Another ram through. Just when you thought they were out of ram throughs, chat. Thank you for letting me know that, Jaffer. I did not see that. Can you message me in the Discord, please? Thank you. So, pretty sure we're dead. Very far behind there. I don't really know what to what to side in or out, but guess I'll just press submit again. <clears throat> Seems okay. We don't have a three drop, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Just make another food here. All right, this is gonna be a great, a great uh, wicked wolf target for us. And then we can go castle into feasting troll king next turn. 
This is just like the really good start here that we were looking for. Especially being so low on time. And then we have Henge into Mammoth. This is like what we've always wanted, chat. This is a great curve. Oh, Amic and Vivian? Is it my birthday, chat? Is it my birthday? <coughs> wow, that was insane. Wow. I thought I said hello to you, Max. Now it's my birthday. I said hello to Max. Thank you, Jaffer. See you next time. <coughs> Let's go again. Can, can, uh, I don't have time right now, but can someone go over to Zabricus' stream and say that we had a wonderful match? Can someone go over there and said and say and say to her that I said good game? If you would, if you wouldn't mind, if you'd be so kind. I I can't do it right now though, myself, or else I would. What happened? Oh, no, we won. We won. We won, JoJo. Hopefully someone can go over to Zabricus's channel and tell her a uh, good game for me. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I won game three pretty quickly. I don't have a one turn one or two play, but my other plays are pretty good. Be a little tough on the draw though. Looks like we're playing against Blue Black Yorian. <clears throat> oh, she's not streaming right now? Okay. Okay, perfect, Max. Thank you. I appreciate it. Playing against Esper Doom, I guess. I'm okay if they play Doom Foretold here, though. Your name's Max to the Mad Shadow, so when I said Max, you were like, wait, what, me? Hopefully I get over this sickness sometime soon. It's feeling real sucky. Alright, so, uh, they're taking five here. So what could they have? I don't know. <coughs> Let's play another Mammoth. Actually, we shouldn't have played the Mammoth. Because they can have an Extinction Event. We, may we probably should have just played the Wolf. Hopefully they don't have Extinction Event. Well, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> I 
I really gotta stop calling out the cards that could have, right? Because I always have it. <coughs> they have it every time I say it. You're not wrong. So I guess their plan next turn is just to like blink the Omen of the Sea with the Orion. Oh, they're gonna block this. We gotta watch out for Extinction Event again. So they did what we were talking about. They did what we were talking about. They might have Eliminate here. Really wanted to draw land. figure they had to eliminate kill that thing put him to eight or they'll can jump block let's see if they have extinction event here You don't have a lot of cards from the set still. I mean, if you want to try to play, um, if you want to try to play some Destructed, I would say try to play it. And if you get too frustrated by not having the right cards, go back to Limited. When I first started, I went back and forth a lot. So they could have another another eliminate here. So when I when I target their golden egg, they're just gonna eat it. They're gonna eat the eat the food to gain three life, I guess, because it puts them out of range for uh, Kogla killing them in a couple turns. Oh, they have a heartless act. Okay. I'm kind of confused on why they didn't do that before I killed their golden egg, but... Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to play into another, another extinction event. I might just play a Tangled out. Or maybe I'll play a Wicked Wolf too. <clears throat> Try to bait the extinction event out. Because, like, they need to use it, right? 
And if I don't play the extinction, if I don't play the Wicked Wolf out, they just never use extinction event. Although they could have been almost dead if I had not played into it the first time. Let's draw a card. <coughs> Goose is pretty good. I mean, Oven's really good too, but so is Goose. Plus, they eventually have to have another Eliminate or this Calling Barons is going to kill them. I don't really know how many Eliminates people are playing. Alright, now my Trail of Crumbs dies. So I should probably just uh, get a get some value off the trail of crumbs right now. So I'm guaranteed to have to discard a card. What do I discard? I discard like the Love Struck Beast probably. I, they probably have a Shark Typhoon because they already showed us that they play it. do this and play Henge. I don't know if I play counter spells, but we kind of have to do it. Double top. Doesn't bode well for us, chat. This looks like a... This looks like a Dance of the Mants. Not gonna lie, this kind of feels like a Dance of the Mants. Feels a lot like a dance. So they didn't heartless act my troll king. So does this mean they have extinction event again? Well, I guess they didn't heartless act the troll king because they don't want him in the grave anyway. This feels like they have dance demands though. <coughs> Conquer's death. Lots of yikes. And they have a Yorian in there. So I can still attack with the Crawling Barons. <clears throat> Do 
But I don't want to do it now since I have the Love Struck Beast. What else best nightmare kill? Nothing? What the what the else best nightmare kill? Oh, it killed my token. <coughs> Why are they attacking? Oh, because they're indestructible. This is a pretty good play. Hopefully they don't have extinction event again. Oh, it's stink. Let's hope they don't have it. <clears throat> so we're going to get rid of my goose with the... Nightmare? We're going to blink the nightmare here? This game is weird. Could be in for a dance man it's like I was talking about last turn like they double topped at one point in this game so we're not seeing a dance here so they up they go up to nine life they get two more blockers they kill our gilded goose They look at two more cards, they draw a card. Oh, they topped one. We're in a pretty precarious position here, especially if they can get rid of our Troll King. Well, that was a good card to draw. Well, we're not gonna play our land just in case we draw Bonders Enclave. Kinda wanna draw a Love Struck Beast where I can get my 1-1. One -one. I would also love to draw a Primal Might. pressure on let's see how many they chump block with <coughs> all right we have a second one of those a 6-6 six, six shark. That's fine, though.
All right, so we got to use both of our Wicked Wolves here. <coughs> Keep him alive. <coughs> Get rid of their board. And hopefully they don't have Dance of the Mance. Yeah, no, not not feeling well for the past uh, few days here. That's a Primal Might. The thing about this Tangled Floor he drawn is it gets exiled as well. Oh, Primal Might also gets out of our hand because of this Elspeth's Nightmare. I guess it's worth drawing a card then. We know we're losing our Primal Might. Let's get an odd card out here. I, li I like my odd cards being out here. Actually, I shouldn't have used this one one. Because it's an even card. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I wasn't playing around that card. Um, okay, well, uh, welcome to the Thunderdome. Welcome to the Thunderdome, chat. I wasn't expecting that. I did get inverted. They have another eliminate. <coughs> Seagate for drawing two cards. Hopefully they just concede. Oh, they have a doom foretold. Well, that sucks. I should probably just do this, just in case. I know I don't get the value out of sacrificing the foods, but... Uh, now we get really hosed by Dance of the Bants if they have it. Like, really, really hosed. Skyclave my Trail of Crumbs. Now they have a blocker for the Crawling Barons. But they don't have a blocker for my Feasting Troll King. Alright, last ditch effort. Oh my goodness. They're, they're still in it, chat. Can you believe it? Uh oh. Lethal. Have you seen a better deck in your life, chat? Have you seen a... We came back from the brink of defeat 80 times in this game.
Alright, now what to side in? Like, is this what qu where questing beast comes in? <coughs> <coughs> I have no idea. Like, Primal Might's not that good. Like, Tangled, maybe not? And just bring in, like, the Thrashing Brontodons? Crawling Barons was... Was God's gift to Green Earth in that game. I didn't... We didn't see Dance of the Bands, but... If we see it in Game 2, we'll definitely bring the Scoos in. At least one. This is an okay hand. We kind of have to get our speed on in this game, I think, because we're three minutes behind. But I like the one drop that we have in our hand here, so I'm going to keep it. I also like the two drop in our hand, so we'll keep this hand. Right after we, after we know the top card of our deck. <coughs> Always play out the Crawling Barons before you know you're going to attack with it because it does have 70 sickness. I learned this out the, I learned this the hard way. <coughs> <coughs> well, my cough is a lot more annoying for me than it is for you folks. I can tell you that for sure. Well, that's a good draw. I kind of like playing the Mammoth here because it doesn't lose to them getting rid of the 1-1. One -one, but I also like playing the Lovestruck Beast because I might need to use the Mammoth as a, as a land. If I don't draw a land next turn. So I want to play the Mammoth as a, as a land, but I also want to play it as a creature because I can get the Henge down next turn. Let's let's live life on the edge, chat, shall we? We'll draw a land at some point. Well, they drew their black mana, so this, op this opens up their Eliminate and Heartless Act plays here, and Doom Foretold for that matter. Well, I guess in Treacherous Blessing. This means that they can't interact with our Mammoth with Black Spells. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's get a land. Let's see if they block this. Nope, no blocks. <coughs> Andres Nalar, thank you very much for the follow. Goose salute to you. Welcome to the Goose Gang. And if you haven't met me before, my name is Charizard James. 
and I'm currently playing Runtees, Mono Green, number one Mythic deck. I kind of just want to attack first. Let's see what happens. Looks like they have Eliminate here. Omen of the Sun. Okay, they're going to kill the Mammoth. That's fine. <coughs> or just Trump Block it. That works for me, too. Let's hope they don't have a Negate or something, right? <coughs> I mean, they could have Elspeth Conquer's Death. Make a reacher, or we should make a or we could make a trampler. I think I like making a a, a trampler because they don't have any haste flying creatures. Well, they're, not gonna, they're not gonna be playing rankle or anything, so I think making the trample one first is good, and then after that, making the it's good to make the reach ones. Maria's call. <coughs> All right. We do have a land next. But Unfortunately, I can't play the hen still. Which is pretty annoying. We're definitely making a reach creature here, I think. Let's just draw the land. These things are indestructible, so let's not attack. And I guess because of Amaria's Call being a card that they could play, we should have made a Reacher, but I wasn't really thinking of Amaria's Call. I was more thinking of Yorian. Keep our Vivian alive. We're drawing a lot of non lands here. I would like to draw some more lands. Let's see what they do. They have eight available mana? Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, they must have really not liked me very much. Holy moly. Well, let's get started again. I think they helped us. I actually think they helped us, chat. That was really confusing. <coughs> the 
Did they just help us? Ooh. That's a good card. All right. I guess we get rid of our trail. But they could have to get rid of their Archon or their Doom Foretold. <clears throat> Ooh, Kalo's a really good one. Because then they have to sacrifice their Doom Foretold. Actually, I could just kill their Doom Foretold. Since I drew the land. Hey, Lou, how's it going? Thank you. I practice this all the time. <coughs> so they might actually. Nope. They were gonna. I thought they might flash something in response, but uh. They can actually dance to the mance here, which is going to suck if they have it. It's going to be real bad if they have it. Amarius Call. Another one. Well, that's a Wicked Wolf. Which means with this food here, I can uh, keep my Wicked Wolf alive from this 4-4. But if they have Heartless Act, they can get around this. Like if, actually they can't, right? Because Wicked Wolf gets the counter from the Great Henge. Oh, they can remove my counters. So it's a 3-3. Three, three. So, what do I do here? I can attack with Kogla, but then they just block with the Indestructible Tutu. I kind of want to play around uh, Extinction Event, though, so I'm going to attack with the Kogla. Alright, perfect. So, it seems to me like they do have Extinction Event. Or else I don't think they would have blocked like that. Oh, maybe maybe they don't have Extinction Event. I mean, I guess they don't. This is a crazy deck. This mono green deck is no joke. Like, this is after an Ondu inversion. Let's try to draw something like a Wicked Wolf. Grow our crawling barons twice. I don't know if it's lethal or not, but 
Actually, it's not lethal. Wait, is it lethal? <coughs> if they block our two most powerful creatures, they are 11 life. Actually, it is exact lethal. If they block the Troll King and the Wicked Wolf, which they wouldn't block the Troll King. Okay, so yeah, it's lethal. The, the Troll King having Trample makes this lethal. Like, like if the, even if the Troll King didn't have Trample, they would block. They would block here, block here, and then I would, I would attack for lethal here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's lethal regardless. This is twelve here. Actually, it doesn't even have lifelink because the Archon wasn't in play. <coughs> All right, folks. Once again, this is Charizard James. And if you liked this style of YouTube video, check out my Twitch stream where I do this live at twitch.tv slash Charizard underscore James. You know how to spell Charizard. Have a wonderful rest of your day, folks. You can also find me on Twitter as well at twitter.com slash CharizardJames7 with no spaces or underscores. Have a wonderful rest of your day, folks, and see you next time.